This was the beginning of the game that put humanity's fate on the line. Hello, ladies and also gentlemen. Welcome back to Zenki Zero, last beginning. For some reason, I wanted to say last sunrise, and I knew that wasn't the case. So, we need to check the TV, because last time it turned on, we've got a new objective, which is the same as all our other objectives. Go into our ruins. Bum -ba -dum. Hey, kids! It's time for Extend TV! Show and Mirai, I don't know if you know this, but some of the people watching you are old men. In fact, I'd actually say that it's very unlikely that you'll have actual children watching this. Because there's four stages of growth, and only kids is only like the first few days. Good job on clearing the underground shopping district, everyone! Thank you! Boy, that was one impressive adventure! I was moved by how we defeated those creatures. What do you mean, we? Mm-hmm. Smart and elegant. They deserve full marks for style and technique. Of course we do. We're amazing. But your humanity restoration mission is far from complete. Of course, because this is chapter four out of eight. Don't give up until you collect all the machine parts, you guys. And obviously it's a blind run. I don't actually know there's eight. It just makes sense because I'm getting one character per chapter. Before someone in comments is like, oh, How does he know how many chapters there are in a blind run? Because that's exactly how you guys talk. I mean, I shouldn't say you guys. That's exactly how some of the whiners talk in comments. That must be the new island drifting in. But didn't that sound like a ship's horn? Ooh, we're going on a boat. We're on a boat. Yeah, because the next ruins are on a ship. Wh what? But not just any ship. Is it the Titanic? Is it the Lusopotania? The sanctuary cruise ship of the mega rich that makes commoners squeal, the Bella Moi. I have never heard of that. I liked the Lusopatania better. It's been on TV many times, so I'm sure some of you have heard of it before. Woohoo! The commoner's unattainable dream is about to come true. So that's why that makes sense why we're in um Oh, I forget her freaking name, but um Mishimos? No, it's me something. But what if the ship ruins drift away while they're in there? No need to worry about that. There's an anchor. Any ruins floating by Garage Island are kept there by a mysterious force, including previous ones. Well, I love how they're, they're not even trying to justify this. Oh my god! Did you just bring things full circle? Uh, not really. Anyway. Let's go check out this cruise ship! Yeah, let's move on! What does he mean by full circle? That makes no sense. He's, like, what is he even referring to? Illuminate! A brighter future! For humanity! Bye bye! Well, I guess we don't know where we're going next! Where did we come from again? Interesting. So there's no there's no discussion of that. And Yuma, that was her name. Yuma Mashiro. That's what I was trying to say. I, I forget what I was saying. I know I was saying something wrong, but I can't remember what it actually was. Uh, real quick, before we go advance time. I know I... Th I'm pretty sure I just did this, but... Do I have any, like, um, food items drawing out of my poop shed? Signs point to no. And I also do not have any more food I can make here, right? Nope. I make herb tea with white flowers. Ooh, do I want to? And done. Um, I actually didn't. Good job, me, on the, like, pressing buttons incorrectly. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's all go to the ship. Let's all go to the ship. Cruise ship that once toured all over the world with over 3,000 passengers on board. So again, that's interesting because the way these ruins were, I sort of assumed that, you know, some time had passed since the end of the world and everything was falling apart. But yet we've still got a serviceable ship sailing around. The ship looks like the one I remember. But at the same time, it's different. Ruto Igarashi looks at me as he wants to ask something. 
No, nope, not just to him. Her group's gaze is fixed on me. Yes. Yuma. You know. You're the only one that might have something to do with that ship, right? So, well, we were thinking, maybe. That's. The next ruin may be really to me. Hmm? Oh, aren't they? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I do like her. Surprise. Bell Moy is a ship built of the built and owned by the Mishiro group. I don't want it. Yeah, that's enough of this Mishiro quiz show. <laughs> yep, she's in her own world as usual. We're not gonna set Toshi cards out. The only one we have any connection to Bell Moy. That's why I may already know about that. That was my father I must do. Mishiro's mission. Whoever's behind this aims to stop me. I cannot afford to put my decision up for later. Action for the catch order to prevent me from doing anything. All right. Yuma, if you can tell us what you know about the ship and its layout, that'd be a great help. It's time for me to pay the price. Wow, well, you, you said you can't postpone it like two seconds ago, now you're like, I postponed it! But thinking back, there's never an option point in my life where I had the option to turn back. After all, no one can stop a tragedy once it's been set in motion. Interesting. New enemies spawn as the day passes, but the days don't. Pa uh, that must have been days pass. Not like oh, time has passed, so there'll be a monster that spawns behind you. Well, this feels like like shades of. Gray or something. Oh, not Shades of Gray. Um, shades of, Layers of Fear. That's what's it called. Those who must kill may be my childhood friends. It's a possibility I never would have imagined. Still, I have a mission to complete. No matter the time or place, although I pray my pride's a Mishiro. I keep forgetting how some of these voices like m m mess with my throat and make me like yawn because I'm having to breathe differently. And do what I must. I've always told myself to follow these words from my mother, but the moment I step on the Belle Moir, my heartbeat grows faster. I can hardly recognize the pure white ship known for its beauty and imposing elegance. The air is filled with the smell of rust and mold. Countless cracks on the stairs lead to the ceiling. The furniture, most carefully adorned with decorations, is now faded and covered in dust. It's like a castle! This ship could take you around the world, huh? You were on it while I was still nice and clean, weren't you, Yuma? That is so cool. I bet it felt so nice. Right. I, it's interesting that they've done this after last um, chapter ended with Sachika getting killed. It really has her as the sacrificial lamb in your, in your mind. And so, you know, when she's talking about killing her friends, they bring Sachika up in order to really move the player against that. Not that I think most players are like, yeah, let's murder everybody, but, I mean, you know, some people would. It was a beautiful ship, and its passengers were guaranteed a comfortable and pleasant trip. It was not all just fun. My tongue gets stiff, slap is sticking to my throat. The ship is symbol of my father's power and love. The ship made solely for one person. It was a castle that the King of Mashiro gifted to his queen. Well... Either he or she will be the final boss, I'm almost sure. And we're already starting with this. Hey, kids! It's time for Extend TV! Hey, Mirai, what's the title of the next Conquest video? First up is Gluttony Part 1. The Arrogant, Autocratic, and Absolute Reigning Ruler. So we're up to Gluttony. Wow, that's a mouthful. Let's take a look now. Roll the tape! So I could have actually guessed that she would freaking be gluttony, what with the like constant nomming on everything. Happy birthday, Moa. I do hope you like my gift. Of course, how could I not? It's such a considerate gift as my illness keeps me from going out. I enjoy you on your travels. And my chest will explode with happiness. 
So she's got these. I mean, he was even full of my favorite foods. My stomach may very well burst. And he's got that. I feel like she is more... She'll probably be the final, but she can't. Her illness keeps her from getting... I wonder if she'll be immobile. I have to, like, figure out how to approach an immobile opponent. And it makes me happy to see you smile. What is this? I ordered your favorite food. Liver sashimi. Well, look, it's already found on the menu. Oh, it's quite all right. I don't mind. You don't... You mean you don't need it? Are you saying you don't need the menu I thought up for you? Did you not remember my order? Does it include liver sashimi in the course? Because it's my wife's favorite. Uh, yes, sir. I did receive your order. But maintaining freshness is crucial for food such as liver. The flavor will degrade it loses its freshness and also enters the risk of food poisoning. It's ill suited for voyages. I've informed your secretary as well. Did I, did I tell you to change the menu? Because it's Wow, what an idiot. Like, you don't know what's going on. He does. You're the one who takes orders, not me. What, are you saying I'm wrong? I'm wrong for wanting to give my wife her favorite food. You're going to kill her. I guess you are the final boss, because she's going to die. I'm very sorry. So I do this on your birthday, boy. Seems he finally understands the extent of his mistake and, f and foolishness. So that you're in the right, don't you? I think I'll forgive you with a shallow apology. I don't want empty words. I'll show me. I am just so too slow. It's twelve point eight seconds for you to assume the position. She was annual sales for the last fiscal year were sixty seven point two trillion yen. Write that by three hundred and sixty five days, twenty four hours, sixty minutes, sixty seconds. Every second cost two point three thirteen million yen. You waste over twenty million yen of the Shows Group's funds. Turn is the only added to Okay, I'm really hoping he's the final boss because I want to kill this asshole. Get on my ship and you can go wherever you please. You know, we can find a word if you making that face. I think father's wrong, not the chef. But why is no one allowed to say anything back to him? I see you're starting to have your own opinions now. But listen, your father is the president of Mishiro Group. There's someone involved with Mishiro. He's the one person who cannot be opposed. I actually think this is a lot of, like, legitimate stuff. In, in Japan, I've heard of for a long time, that Japanese companies would sometimes intentionally employ what they called the ugly American. And any time that the, like, higher-ups in the company would disagree with what the CEO, president, whatever you're going to call it, was doing, they would discreetly let the ugly American know that they thought the company was going in the wrong place, only because in Japanese culture you don't talk back to the president. If the president makes a decision, you're going to do the decision. But because the American's not part of Japanese culture, you can just be in there and be like, well, I think this is full of shit, sir. Man, look at this. Look at this. Ever you know, the, the ugly American can just be a gauche and, and disagree with the president and go in with facts and figures and actually save the company a lot of money, which is why they hire him, because all the other ones are just too, it's, it's too disrespectful to disagree. You must never tell him his decision is wrong. But my teacher said if you make a mistake, you should admit it and say sorry. That logic applies to commoners. So Mishiro is never wrong. Mishiro Group operates multiple enterprises in different industries. It's very hard to balance them and make the, all the necessary decisions on a daily basis. Sometimes, he may give orders that seem unfair. But those decisions are crucial to keeping all of Mishiro Group alive. That's why you never make light of your father's orders. A arbitrary decision with good intention can end up destroying the entire Mishiro organization. He made the chief apologize in front of everyone to nip that sort of individual decision making in the bud. I know this may be difficult. But as someone who was born into the Mishiro family, it's important for you to keep in mind. You must make your decisions based on different sensibilities than normal folk. That is the duty of the one who was born to a wealthy family, and something to be proud of. But I understand how you feel. You know, I want you to pro obey your father, no matter what. So the, her great moment in this chapter is going to be killing her father. 
or killing the remains of her father. Even when I'm gone, I want to support him in my stead. Even if I die. Whoa! So that's what it's like for rich people. Isn't it great, Mirai? I mean, if you want to call it that. Yeah! Look how big it is! But it must be hard to learn their special manners and social etiquette. It really is amazing. I mean, I didn't think there would be a mom with twin tails, besides the ultra kind. The ultra kind? Oh, that's what you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Come on, Mirai! You just left me hanging on that one. I don't really know what I'm supposed to say. I don't even know what you're talking about. Show. every once in a while I feel like they just didn't bother to translate you and your voice actor made it up on the spot. I think I reciprocate about a tenth of what you give me, though. Huh? What do you mean? See? Mirai always has twin ears. <laughs> Aren't I adorable? Literally everyone always has twin ears. This is my Busho Shoku Haki! What the fuck is going on? I feel like in my ears while the alarm bells goes off in my chest. The reason's obvious. Yuma. <laughs> you take after your mother, huh, Yuma? Huh? The question takes me by surprise. Um... Why do you say that? Well... well... I was just thinking, if you do, your mother must be very beautiful. And just look how cute her daughter is. It seems to be inconsiderate because I've become the new target for the Conquest videos. I already know he was that type of person after living with him all this time. Super beautiful. <laughs> yes, she is super hot. Haruto. You hear that? It's like humility is no word than the machine. Well, I, I could have told you that, you dumb butt. Don't bring me into this. So my expression. So my expression is smile as I watch this exchange. Not certain of one thing. I made the ruins and conquest videos is aware of my objective. My chest. You all right? You might. You should take it easy for a bit. I went through the same thing. It can be pretty mentally draining, even when you think you're okay. Yeah. Minamu's right. You should stay back, Yuma. Yeah, I don't any words of kindness. You do not understand. I'm not hurting because of the video. It's because I just now solidified my result in the mob. Slowly close my eyes and then blink twice. Thank you. Thank you for your concern. But I am fine. With the Mashiro family, I've been raised to conduct myself accordingly at all times. So this is interesting. I do wonder how this chapter is going to play out. Mashiro will not be broken by the likes of this. Not from the group, my words in part are directed myself. Right. I know the entire layout of the ship by heart. I have some idea of where the machine part may be. In that case, let's go. To the grave. I swallow his last few words. Well, I can already tell I'm going to love this place. What the? Oh, that's just an opening. Something hidden. Okay, I don't think there's any. This. There it is. A diary in the trash bag. Interesting. What's this? Man, there's little this. stuff everywhere. Please enjoy a pleasant trip in this gorgeous room. There it is. What's this? Concentrate. Ready? Ready? Ow. Whoa, crap! I thought she was dead! 
Ready? Okay, well, thankfully, she doesn't hit very hard, but G-Bus. That was unpleasant. I kind of got stalked on that one. This is it, right? Gonna try using it. There. Well, that's stupid. Okay. What the? Gonna try using it. This is it, right? Gonna try using it. I can't go there. Why would those exist? Like, what is the purpose in having killer death darts? I I really like I can't go there. Like I get it from a game mechanic perspective, why would they would do that? This is it, right? But I don't get it from the basis of, um, like, why that would even be built in the ship in the what first place. Throw out rice porridge. I hate that. I don't know where the heck it is. What's this? Ready? Ready? Concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. Not this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Where are they coming from exactly? I wonder. Um, who has the lockpick skill? That's a good thing to know. I've actually got a lot of skills I can learn, can't I? I should probably do that. That's probably a wise thing to do. So, who has open safe? He does. She can... I'm going to be lazy and have her out of curiosity. Okay, basically, I was like, what does deft hands do? Because that sounds like it should be related. Are these people coming from? Ow! They won't open. Because I can't help but notice I a lot of them just sort of seem to spawn I'll get it. as I'm in rooms. This? There it is. What's this? Found a gem. Concentrate. Ready? Ready? Come on. Yeah. 
So yeah, it definitely seems like every time I walk into a room, one of these guys just sort of appears. Which I've got to say, in terms of game design, I'm not a fan of. Why not? When I find a toilet, go use it. I am glad these guys at least speak, though. Otherwise, it'd be very hard to keep track of where they were. Wait, what is this? Looks like some sort of... Alright, so that's locked. Looks like some sort of spike trap on the floor. Certainly isn't the best. Ready? Ready? Concentrate. Oh, you yeah. little jerk. That time, it got me. It got me. I was totally expecting something to come from behind. There's two of them in here. Ready? That was well done, though. As much as I hated, they completely caught me off guard from behind. Because I was. I walked in there, I saw they heard beeping, and I had just gotten through talking about how... Um... There it is. Every time I walked into a room, a is guy spawned horrible? in the hallway. There it is. That hurts. What is this? Let's see. <laughs> Any yeah. workers? There's something here. Okay, so that seems like an area I may want to avoid, or at least be aware of. Well, that's certainly interesting. I'm hearing some soundy wounds. Oh, it's... oh no! I didn't be... What's this? I'm sorry, Sachka. You were the one I wanted to kill the least. Does this look useful? Found it! In tre wow, I hadn't noticed that before. Creaking from the weight. Gonna try using it. This is it, right? Gonna try using it. There. I bet one of the ones, because I, I I know two Where's of this? them actually started the um one thing's attacking. But I ne the third one in that other room I never actually found a use for. One of them probably turns the spikes on. There's something here. It's closed. This is it, right? Gonna try using it. This is it, right? 
Okay, those are both there. making him red. I will come back if I can't find something. It's closed. There's another weird jazz bar. What's this? We're not lost, are we? We're a little lost. Okay. So we've now found just about every exit. There's stuff there and there's stuff here. So the question is, if I flip these switches now that I've explored the whole place, what happens? Gonna try using it. Where are we? That's still closed, that's still closed, that's still closed. This is it, right? Do you need the map? Okay, that was already there. Gonna try using it. Where did we come from again? This is it, right? Hmm. So, what do they want me to do exactly? Sorry, I had to stop for a second and listen. There. Gonna try using it. There. Let's check the map. Okay, one of those opened that. This is it, right? Let's see. Any more? Gonna try using it. Okay, it's that there. one. There. This is it, right? Where are we? Yeah, okay. The other two turn on the shooter guys. Shooter guys. Shooter guys. So it looks like we're going to have to clear out multiple areas in order to open up the other parts of this. Cool beans, cool beans. And with that autosave, I'll go ahead and end this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. I will see you all in the next one.